Hi everyone with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about weekly contest number 58, third question, dice roll simulation. So a dice simulator generates a random number between 1 to 6 and there is extra constraint that saying number i cannot be generated more than roll max i consecutive time. So given an array of roll max and an integer n that uh, represent the number of rolls. So we need, we're being asked to return the number of distinct sequence that can be generated. Since the number of distinct sequence can be very large, so we're being asked to uh, modulo it by this number here. So it can be represented in the integer. So let's take a look on the first example. So roll max here. Um, consecutive times of one that can be happen is uh, only one. Two uh, is equals to one also. So this is like one, two, three, four, five, six. So six can be generated in a six consecutive time at max. So given an n of two, how many distinct sequence we can produce? So we know that if there is uh, six value, uh, we can generate and we, we roll it two times. There are 36 combination. However, if the dice, the first dice, um, uh, sorry, the, the value of one can only be generated at most one time. So let's say first time we generate a one. Second time we roll, we cannot generate a one. So one one is out of um, option there. And two two is also out of option. So from those 34, uh, 36 so minus 2 so it's equals 34 so we know the best case is um, when n is equals 1 um, it will always be 6 right like um, as long as the roll max is not 0 so we see here the roll max constraint is not 0 and also um, roll max will, will always be 6 because we are generating number between 1 to 6 and n equals 5000 so this question can be solved by dynamic programming. So how are we going to solve that? So it's basically uh, we need a key of the DP itself using the N. N is the number of throw left and what is our last row, last roll, and then how many times that last roll value uh, happen consecutively. So when we see here, so when N equals zero, so means um, no more roll left so there there is one unique sequence which is um empty so empty is a one distinct sequence right when the n equals zero so other when the n is larger than zero we go through the number of one to six and then get our maximum consecutive roll and in our dp we see here we also memorize um what is the last number that happened and how many times it's already happening so here we, we you see when we do a rec recursion we let's say we choose a number i so let's say i is equal to zero which is um value of one so we reduce the n by one and roll max is the fixed value so we keep passing it down or we can also make it a, a global variable and the last number we pick is i so this number is the number we pick and if this number is equals to the last number we pick then um, previous consecutive roll we added by one otherwise it we reset it to one okay and after that um, we look through all six we know how many solution are there we add it up and then we put it in the catch for the yeah for next time so um, when there is a uh, recalculation, like um, the n happen to be the same and last number and consecutive roll happen to be the same, then we will not um, calculate it again. But here you see we return it immediately using the key. So the key here is um, how many times roll of rolling left and what is the last number and how many times the consecutive roll happen. And after that, yeah, basically we remember to modulo it with a uh, number that given from the question and then yeah we return it and yeah that's it for this question thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest